my crafty friends. Today I have a really fun tutorial. We will be making this little mini ephemera holder and that's what I'm calling it. Um, I did see this on a channel called Bambi Deer and she called it a gift card holder. That's what she was using it for. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make one here. It is super fun. It is one of those one page wonders. Um, I've used some of my printables in making this little project, some of my mini ephemera, plus my latest uh, Valentine kit, which I will link below. And I'm also going to show you just some of the pages after I show you a quick flip through of this mini album slash ephemera holder. It is a one page wonder, so you could make it with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, or you could use a 12 by 12 and then cut it up and use it all to make this. So I'll show you how to make the base of it, and then you can add your own things to it as well. Um, the little envelope I made with my latest Valentine's kit as well. Um, I have used a couple of pieces from Digital Collage Club. And um, if you wanted to check out their site, I will have coupon codes linked below as well and on my blog. This cute little postcard is from their shop as well. And then I just used some little ephemera that I had around as well just to add to the little pockets. And the back here, I just added a couple tickets. And again, the little heart um, digital you see there is from my Valentine's kit. I just wanted to put one together because I thought it would be so cute to have just some lighter colors for Valentine's, but they still have the theme. So the little love there is from Digital Collage Club. I just cut up one of the little journaling cards. I made this out of my Valentine paper, this little tag, and added the little sticker. And then the You've Got Mail is from my past mini, mini Happy Mail effect kit. Um, again, I will have everything linked in the description box below and on my blog. Please remember to check out my blog for updates. Um, I usually update that or my Instagram as well. So this is super adorable. Um, we will make one together. Like I said, you could use a 12 by 12 and then you actually will use the entire piece of 12 by 12. But I'm making this one with an eight and a half by 11. Um, because I do print out a, a lot of digitals and I thought it would be such a great way to use up, you know, 12 by 12 sheets of paper. So I hope that uh, you have fun making this. As I said, I didn't, this was not my original idea and um, I'm so happy I came across it. I think I actually saw it on Instagram and then um, there was a, a video with it. So anyways, let's make one. Um, as always, questions, comments, leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell and leave a comment below and let me know what you think. So these are the pages in my latest kit and this is called Hugs XO. And it's just some really nice uh, Valentine's theme colors. I did like a stripe because I didn't, I wanted something that could go with anything. Um, you know, I've got the little one with the roses and the hearts and bows. I tried to do a little bit like of a vintage vibe to some of the pages, but not too much. And as you can see, the colors are not extremely bright. They still kind of have the theme across, um, but it's not... Um, you know, it's not something that you wouldn't be able to use with many projects. So this is one of the pages. And then the last page, which I have to grab because I forgot to pull it in, is the one with the um, little kind of confetti polka dots on it. The one that I made the, um, that we will be making the um, little mini album slash ephemera holder. So this is the last page in the kit. As I said, I kind of tried to keep a, a slight vintage vibe to some of the pages, but really it's all mostly tones that go together and you can kind of use any ephemera, Valentine's ephemera that you have with it as well. Okay, you will find the kit in my shop, links below and on my blog. So I start with that eight and a half by 11 sheet. If you have double-sided paper, you could do that. We cut it into four inches by 11 inches. And that is the base basically of our little mini album ephemera holder. And then we score it at um, a couple of areas here just to make all the nice little folds. So I'm just flipping it over to the white side so you could see a little better. So the first score is at three inches. Then we score at four and a quarter then at seven and a quarter, and then at eight and a half. And then once we make these scores, we'll kind of fold everything and, and you know, give it the little shape. 
So the next part is where, I mean, you could use the um, leftover piece from this to make your, um, I guess, the little, what is the word I am looking for? Mechanism, what will hold your pages together. So this is your leftover piece. Now you could also make an entire other uh, base with this one if you wanted to make two and then use your scraps to make the rest but if you cut up your piece you're going to need um, little uh, pocket size pages that are four by two and three quarters and then four by one and three quarters that would be for your pockets so that's the first little pieces that I showed you, okay? And I will try and have everything in the description box below as well as on my blog. This piece here I could have used for my mechanism, but I decided to just grab a separate piece of paper. This one is four by four, and you're going to make a few scores on this one, okay? The first one is at a quarter. The next one is at three quarters. Then at one and a quarter, at one and a half, then at two, then at two and a half, two and three quarters, three and a half, and then the last one, which kind of gets a little tricky, is the three and three quarters. So those are your, um, you know, score lines for the mechanism, which is what you're going to fold to make your um, section that holds your pages. So now when we see how the, the different sections are there, I just want to show you how that looks. So then you start to make your folds and you have to make little peaks with the largest center one. And then the smaller score lines sort of become the part that stays on the base. And you can see here how it's taking shape. So you make little peaks with the larger fold and then the smaller folds are the ones that will sit on your page to hold your mechanism together. See there, you've got like three little mountains basically. Okay, so now we will glue the little mountains on the underside so they will become a little peak. So I'm just going to use this double-sided tape. I have been using this tape so much. Um, I did get it from Stationery Pal, and I absolutely love this double-sided tape for things that I know for sure I am sticking down and I don't have to move around or you know wait for it to um, dry. So this works really well for these little um, bits here. Uh, anything I've used, I'll try to link below as well in case you're interested in, in anything I've shown you. So here we are making the second little peak and then the third little peak, and I'm just gluing it together. So you can see how that ends up looking when you've glued the little peaks on the other side, and now they're all sticking together. And now we're going to add glue to the bottom here because this is the part that we will be attaching to our base, okay? So this part right here. And then for this part, I do like to have, um, you know, making sure that it all will fit nicely in there. I will be using the um, the double-sided tape for this as well. And this, I'm just adding it to the bottom of that um, creased area that we did. So if you just kind of go back and see how we scored everything, you'll see that this will be the bottom. And then here's where we're adding our mechanism. And I'm just making sure that it stays within my score lines at the bottom because this will ensure that you know you can open and close your little album ephemera holder without any issues so see that right there now if i did have double-sided paper that i used then you wouldn't have any of the white um, area of course um, i could have printed on the other side of the paper, but I wanted to show you how this looks without the additional printing. In case some of you don't have, you know, a printer and you're just using scrapbook paper, etc. So now I can add my, um, I can cut up my pockets. So this is the pocket that I showed you. So the base pocket is one piece that measures four by two and three quarters. And then the front of that pocket is a piece that measures four by one and three quarters. And that just gives it um, the back a little height and the front a smaller pocket. And then you can see how I just added glue to that back of that hinge. 
And for this part, I am using my uh, wet glue because I, I do need a little bit of give if I need to move something around a little bit. And then we'll add glue to three sides of this smaller piece, which is the four by one and three quarter piece. And then this will give us our back pocket. Now I like to make the tallest item or tallest pocket on the back and then for the you know the next two hinges I kind of like to have things that are just slightly shorter so you can kind of have um, you know that visual of something smaller going and and taller to the back so you can see how I just glued it to the front of the hinge because we had added glue to three sides which means that center pocket is now there and you've got a little pocket to hold some pieces now I uh, made this little envelope with a die that I have from In Love Art Shop. Um, if you haven't, um, if you wanted to see where that is, I'll link it below as well if I can. I'll try and put everything either on the blog as well. Um, I did use my latest printable to make the little envelope. And as I said, the, the little stripes, I think they just go with anything. And so I wanted to make stripes that, you know, had some sort of valentine colors but as well you can use them in any project and the, the little envelope happens to fit sort of perfect on that hinge so what i'm going to do is i'm just adding a little glue to the back of that hinge there or the front i should say and then i'm adding a little bit of um uh, sorry i'm going to add just uh, the piece to the front of it i hope you're enjoying this quick process video um, you know as always you can pause it and go back to see how I did some pieces comments or questions leave them below I'll try and answer them as well and I'm just poking out the little holes here that I didn't quite get to before I think this is such a fun little project it's something that you know you could certainly um, you know give to a friend um, even make it like into a card like a birthday card with maybe um, you know some cute little um, notes or things that you want to add maybe some tea and a gift card um, I'm showing you here that I've used uh, the little postcard from digital collage club it happens to fit perfectly as well and this is from their valentine days or valentine themed paper and then I just cut up a piece of my printable what was left over um, now both of these pieces are um, four by I think the two and three quarters but this is the part where you could add whatever you want you can make pockets you could add little envelopes you can add little paper bags you know this is where you get to play with what you add to your hinges or you can make them all just a standard pockets like the first one we did on the back but this one I wanted to kind of make like a larger pocket so I added glue just to the bottom of that hinge there on the back and then for the little postcard again I'll be adding glue to three sides of the postcard to make that larger pocket then we'll decorate um, a little bit just to cover up the white spot and you just kind of get the idea of how quickly this comes together so if you do have a 12 by 12 sheet of paper you could use the entire sheet to make the pockets as well in the hinge and then this way you know it all has the exact same color and the exact same design but I kind of like a little bit of you know difference you can use your leftover scraps as well to make the pockets because really the pockets are tiny right they're like four by two and three quarters and then the front of the pocket like I said would be four by one and three quarters and then you see here how cute it looks with the three little pockets on the hinge and I really really like how this is coming out Okay, so now I'm just going to add some of the paper to um, cover the white spot. And again, I'm just using my printable for this part. You just go ahead and, you know, measure if you wanted to do that. And like I said, if, um, if that's not something that you need to do, if you have double-sided paper, then yay for you. You don't have to do this part. Um, I did want to say thank you so much again for your support with my shop and for supporting the artists that I feature. Um, there are a few items still in my consignment shop if you wanted to check them out. And as always, every little purchase helps me keep sharing um, videos with all of you. And I have so much more coming up. My friends, I've just had to edit a lot of things. And, you know, over the holidays, um, it was just kind of hard to get back to editing etc but now that um, I'm back 
to do it. I'm quite excited about it. There's um, a few unboxings coming up, which I hope you watch. And as I've said before, um, those videos will usually have a hidden giveaway with them. So keep an eye on that. There is a winner coming up as well for one of my last um, unboxings. And I will have that video for you shortly. I just didn't want to combine it with this one. Um, what else do I have? I've got a few more tutorials coming up and just so much stuff that I'm updating. There's some new things happening in the shop, which I will be sharing with you as well. And the swap for, um, you know, that, that I will be hosting again. I'm super excited about it. So if you took um, part in the last swap, um, thank you so much. It was so fun. Um, I will definitely be hosting the next one and that's coming up soon. Um, I've just got to get myself organized. I will for, for sure be um, posting that on my blog in case um, you know, you're interested in those details. And again, I'll have that linked below, lizthepaperproject.com. That is my blog. Um, thank you for clicking on my affiliate links. That also helps if you end up purchasing anything, you know, every little bit helps. So I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you had um, a wonderful, healthy, safe holiday. Uh, we didn't do much we just um you know were together as a family at home and that was really enough for us to know that everybody was home safe and healthy um so here i'm just uh i realized i didn't add um uh, anything to the back of this little uh, pocket so i'll be doing that a little bit later just to not leave kind of like a white pocket on the back and i have a quick tip i almost forgot to mention this and i think it's kind of an important one so um what I wanted to say is before you add your hinge to your piece, you should probably decorate the front of your, your cover. It just makes it a little bit easier if you have, you know, things to add to it, especially like, you know, thick embellishments. I'm just showing you some ephemera pieces from my mini Happy Mail kit um, that I thought I would be using for the front here. But you can see how um, now that I'm trying to add to the front, it's a little bit hard because I've added the hinge. So <clears throat> if you watch this video to the end, it will save you um, a little bit. If you add your decorations to your front cover before you add your hinge to your piece here. I mean, you can always do it after, which I did, but it's kind of much nicer to do it when it's all nice and flat. Okay, my friends, I will have everything that I have used linked below, my kits and uh, some of the supplies that I enjoy using. Um, thank you for checking those out. As always, questions, comments, please leave them below. I hope you enjoyed this share and I've got a lot more coming up very soon. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this project and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by.